Okay, rock. Status TV, hit that thumbs up. Okay, so shots fired, target hit. Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. You know, I'm not really into this. A little bit out of my age bracket. But still, I listen. I'd rather create than listen. But as of late, just got a new vehicle. So I'm driving around listening to music for the first time in like a long ass time. Um, my radio didn't work in my used car that I just sold. So I'm getting into this. And I want to say this, man. I like the fact that Lamar, Kendrick Lamar, brought it to the culture versus Drake. Hit that thumbs up. So Raw, are you talking about the part of the song where he said, I don't want to hear you use the N-word no more? Kendrick and Rick, Lamar and Ross have both kind of called out Drake on some false blackness. He's not false flagging, he's false blacking. Who is that off-brand sucker trying to hang with the click? Well, I think it's high time that we start checking that N-word, that we start checking your black credentials. If you're going to sit up here and use the word nigga, well, we're going to need some verification that you actually a nigga. Okay? Because real niggas don't even use nigga like that. So, I got to say this. Kudos to Kendrick Lamar. And I have a question for those out there listening. What should be the punishment for using the word with the N if you are not a black person? We have these off-brand people that believe that they can use the N-word because, well, you have a lot of silly type black people that allow that to happen. Hit that thumbs up. In my opinion, the energy changed in the country when that Quentin Tarantino movie came out. The one where Sam Jackson had the ponytail and he was going around using the N-word like it was going out of style. Let's not forget about that ambush, that sneak attack in Django Unchained. Really watch that movie. Quentin Tarantino's mother was a white whore who had a lot of black dudes over the house. Now, the truth of the matter is you're knocking on hollow wood if you are still using the N-word as a diss. At the same time, sometimes it's not what you say, it's when you say it and how you say it. So if you really think you did something, well, that should go checked. Get checked and not unchecked. Laying down the law in hip hop. And I like what some of these artists out here out here are on. Microphone check the movie, the premiere. I think we are in a good place. If our adversaries do not feel comfortable, do not feel safe around us. Well, who was us? F B to the is a. No, the descendants of Spanish conquistadors should not feel safe at a movie premiere about FBA business. Someone that wears dockers with no underwear shouldn't feel comfortable using the N-word, especially when your inner circle is all white, at least that's what it seems to be. Exploiting the culture. You'd be surprised at how some of these mixed race people really feel about their black side. And I always ask this, those of you out there with white children or mixed, I understand the genetic component. There's really no such thing as mixed. There's only African or non-African when it comes to genetics. But I have to pose this question. What are you going to do when your grandkids are calling you the N-word? Huh? Can you think about it? It's Thanksgiving dinner and you're like in the bathroom because your own family is going to lynch you. Come out, grandma. You nigger. That's a great point, as always, Raw. That seed you planted in that straight-haired, pale-skinned, no melanin-having, partial Neanderthal. You don't have a son or daughter. You now have Rosemary's baby in cave man form. Raw. Kanye West. I can't even think of a Drake line he said attacking the star's lyrics. West also criticized Drake's record deal with Universal Music, suggesting he sold the rights to his music for... Little bag, lifetime deal. I feel bad for you, he said, April 22nd, 2024. Or maybe that's when this article was written, I don't know. So, looks like Kanye West is getting into it. I think Pusha T liked something on Twitter the other day, or X. And I guess he's jumping back in it. Um, I don't know. Most of the dudes that I just mentioned suck on the mic, but, you know, that's just raw talking. If, but again, gatekeeping the usage of the n-word like neely fuller said there is no meaning to the n-word it is a tofu adaptable a word that can mutate depending on its environment so but the question is what should be the punishment for people violating the black laws that are laid down in hip-hop 
Is it time to keep hip hop black? For instance, there's a concert going on with Missy Elliott and Busta Rhymes. Should we be attending concerts with people like Busta Rhymes on the bill? That's a big task to, to complete. But like that Kanye West song, we can do the impossible. Best song out right now, if you ask me, go, go, go. Like that shit. So let me know what you think. What should the punishment for a Drake or any of these other off-brand uh, non-black people that think that they can walk around saying nigga? Does that bother you? How do you feel when you hear non-black rappers say nigga? Does it depend on the context? None of them are down. Let's stop with the they down shit. They're not down. Kendrick Lamar came with some body blows, kind of like Tank Davis against that steroided up Garcia. We're going to talk about that. Leave your comments in the box. Answer my questions. Welcome to our new subscribers. This is Raw Status TV. We don't condone violence. Let that pinata pinto mother show up to microphone check. There won't be any violence. This is Raw Status.